in order to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And our idiom today is to wear one's heart on one sleeve. And I didn't put a heart on my sleeve, but I do have flowers. Not the exact same thing. Love the origin of this particular idiom and expression. It actually comes from medieval times when knights used to joust on horseback and they would have battles but they would wear on their sleeve the color of the lady that they were competing for or devoted to, to share their devotion and loyalty to a particular lady. Now, if they lost their joust, their sleeve would be removed, leaving them open and vulnerable to attack because they would have their sleeve ripped off, showing who they were loyal to and devoted to, and that could make them more vulnerable. Well, over time, this came to mean uh, when you wear your heart on your sleeve, it's when you're open and emotional about or showing your feelings about pretty much anything. In my business, a lot of times we are taught to be stoic and serious and never show our feelings, not to be ourselves, to, to put on veils and masks and be someone different and more professional than who we really are as we are building a business or, or leading people and being a manager and et cetera. Uh, and I found that just being ourselves is pretty much always the best policy. Now, that's assuming that we're good, nice people. If you're a jerk or an entitled a-hole, then probably don't be yourself. Be a kinder, gentler version of yourself when dealing with other human beings. <laughs> because people like to, to work with and associate with people that they know, like, and trust, that they can feel loyal to, etc. So, Today, I'm just thinking about, and I invite you to think about as well, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not very open and honest and authentic, to 10 being super honest, uh, honest, honest, open, and authentic, and willing to show the world who you really are, where would you rate yourself? Uh, I would say over time, that's changed for me personally. When I was younger and just starting out in my career, I was pretty young, and I was in a very... Uh, challenging environment for a lot of my corporate career. And so I wasn't 100% authentically myself for about my first 20 years in corporate positions. I did what I thought I should do. I wore what I was, you know, told to wear by the culture. I behaved in ways that were similar to other managers. And I moved from industry to industry and job to job over every few years because I was looking for where I fit. <coughs> Turns out I don't fit into the corporate culture particularly well because I think differently than a lot of people. I think for myself and I believe that we do what's right no matter what, even if it isn't consistent with what other people are thinking or saying or doing. So uh, over time, I always have my own businesses on the side and then I finally decided in, geez, God, way back to 2004 that I would just do my own thing after my last corporate job. But my last corporate job was awesome because I went into that one just 100% being myself, shared who I was, what I thought, what my beliefs were, how I was going to lead and manage. And that was by far my most fun job and my most rewarding job in corporate America. So I learned a huge lesson about the importance of being who we really are, building on our own strengths and uh, helping other people to do the same. So again, scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not so much, just do what I think I'm supposed to do, to 10 being, hey, here I am, I'm just going to be me, you be you, and I'll be me. Uh, share that number in the comments below. I'm going to think about mine today. I don't. I guess I'm pretty much an 8 or a 9 these days. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever a 10. I don't think we ever just, you know, fly our own flag without considering other people. But that's just me. That's how I rate things. All right, have an awesome day. Any questions about this, hit me up. We're talking about identity today in the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. So I thought this one worked pretty well about being open and honest and authentic uh, to go along and coincide with that. Have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow.